So, freaking amazing is our first semi-final. It's South Korea versus uh, Germany, actually. Still versus Lucifer. Here we go. 25 years old is still only. Oh, yeah, I remember him being very young when I was with him in, in faculty, like 16 years old or so. So, kind of a veteran, even. Of course, not as veteran as Lucifer is, who's been around since the game was released, maybe even yep. earlier. I think Lucifer is 40 years old by now. <laughs> Something like that. 31 it is. 31. According to our stats, there is uh, not a single game that still has won against Lucifer. Still had a good showing against in Super Bowl. So let's Did see they what meet he before? Uh, apparently, yes. But I don't know where. Let's check this out on the best homepage that Warcraft 3 has to offer. Warcraft3.info uh, Still versus Lucifer is... Oh, they met twice in Capsule Cup in March 2018. Uh, both were best of ones and both were won by Lucifer. But, you know, that's uh, four months ago. Yeah, not too long ago at all. And it wasn't the best of three. Just Firestalkers represent, Germany represent. I am for once rooting against the undead. However, Lucifer, he's been improving pretty steadily as well over the last couple of months, we should say. This is going to be a true test for Sil. If he wins here, though, man, boy, has he made a name for himself today. Indeed. He had already great results in NWC3L, but this could be his standout tournament if he, in the end, qualifies for Rust Brain. Lucifer, though, may be the best Lucifer we've seen in the last few years. He defeated TH in AWL, and it wasn't really close. Did you see the games there? Because I know you um, follow AWL quite a bit. A few I saw, yeah. He played well. TH didn't play bad, but didn't play so good either, I would say. But still, certainly credit to Lucifer. A player's force is All right. Under attack. We open it up, of course, with the Blade Master and DK, as it always is the case. Creeping here against the turtles because there's basically no other option. And still, with the focus creep far away from Lucifer, so he, so he should be stay, should be safe. DK gets his first Cloak of Shadows. We've been seeing a lot of those today. Yes. Even utilized a little bit. On the other side, it's going to be a better item, hopefully. It is the Ring of Regen, especially early on. So good. Not bad at all for harassing. Not bad at all. Gr a grunt scouting across the map here is going to actually see where Lucifer is, but the blade is far away. Can he really kill this warrior with that Ring of Regen? Oh, he's going to need another Windwalk. Oh, Blade Master! <laughs> Needs to wait a bit for the regen to kick in. Very good regen, of course. And that was the coil kill for a level 2 DK. He wanted to steal something there, but not really possible. The DK is quite low, though. Got a claw. Dude. <laughs> 7 HP. He got it, though. It was 4 HP, dude. Oh. <laughs> oh, my. He's playing on, like, 200 ping, remember? Like, <sighs> What's it? What a player, dude. What a player! Dude, you're not biased at all. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> dude, that still is in the semifinals for once, okay? I'm allowed to be biased here. Death Knight, great items with the mantle as well. Grunts are still keeping tabs. Would be nice if you could get a kill here, but it's hard. Skeletons get the last hit again. On the, on the tech side, 40% for Lucifer here. Exactly the same timing for the tech. There was a two-borrow tech by the orc, including a peon scout as well. Still wanted to know where Lucifer is. Wanted to be able to, uh, yeah, respond. DK here cops quite a bit of damage. Would like to see one grunt just to move on uh, the DK here to keep up the damage consistently. Oh, but the cloak actually comes into play. A little and early, they're dancing though. for it. They're dancing for it. Should be Lucifer's to take though. Yeah, that's exactly what happens. Item goes to still again the gloves of haste. Like they are glued to his hands, so uh, oh, for some reason. And there's level two for him. Alright, critical strike unlocked. He did get that last hill, last hit. But it's a level three creep. It's not that much experience. You go for those camps mostly for the items. And the blade is looking pretty good. Found four nice items here. Tier two about to finish. Fourth grunt even coming in. Really heavy on the grunts. 
that's kind of what you have to do if you play two borrow. Don't just want to be floating like 700 gold or whatever. And he's going to get the next big creep camp. And if he finishes this, he's level three as well. And he saved a lot of his mana points. Yeah, usually that creep is for the second or third hero. Gets the belt of giant strength. Not bad against undead to have more HP. But yeah, big chunk of experience, as you said. Lucifer gets some map control um, because he creeps this over Magi for the ward. And of course, the tier three permanent item. Sacrificial Pit, Lich, so this is the new undead build, and man, still is expanding. Oh, and he gets scouted immediately. Ooh, that's pretty unfortunate. Very good timing by Lucifer, though. He's also finishing this camp here, almost. He gets his level 3. This might be a TP force on the DK, though. Is this quite a bit of mana on the blade? Tries for another. He needs to get in front for another hit, though, I think, to really make this work. Can't quite get it done. Frost armor's there, keeps him safe. All right, good addition. No slaughterhouse yet. That is quite a bit delayed as he doesn't have lumber at the moment. I wonder why. I use the ghouls for creeping, obviously, but usually you should have that. Well, the sacrificial pit is very lumber uh, intensive. TC second. Hell yeah. It's a very ballsy play. Yeah. It's different, TC. though. As we always say, if you know that you're uh, not as good as your opponent, why not go for the cheese? But as Lucifer scouted this, is a very good inventory with the heal potion, talisman. Uh, Lich is, of course, pretty strong with plus nine. And this push is going to wreck this expansion. Yeah, definitely going to cancel it. That is a lot of time wasted, though, by Lucifer. Just running across the map. In the end, got the cancel. Yes, but no experience, no items. Lich still with zero. Whereas the TC keeps on leveling up. This is going to be his two and a bit and a big item as well. One of mana stealing. Yeah. For the TC, not even too bad. Maybe yeah. you can get out another stomp or two. Okay. Nice steal from the Blade Master there as well. Got a dust too for Burrowed Fiends. I don't know if he has the upgrade already, but let's see. Tier 3 is about to be finished in Slaughterhouse only now. Oh, this uh, Ring of Region. So good for him. Keep up a lot more pressure here. TC taking a very small camp here with four grunts, kind of surprising me. Gets a mantle and gets very close level three. That red camp down here, that would be a nice camp to take. And the Blade Master consistently giving vision. Of course, he knows he should be safe to do this unless Lucifer runs over right now. But he has no scout of this, no reason for him to rush over there. So the TC should be able to get it pretty easily. Okay, is it Scourge Bone Chimes time? Oh yeah, it is! Damn, the predictions are not too bad today. That's actually so good for how he's playing here. He doesn't have healing, now he does. Very slight healing. Oh only life man, so much experience! Close to four. Late Master keeps him busy here, though the Lich is still level one. DK not close to four whatsoever. And this is not looking too bad. I mean, yeah, of course this tier three is delayed by a lot due to the, that expansion but yeah. hero wise and army wise oh he might get the shade here he's walking into range and oh, wasn't he in range of the ward maybe he was just barely out, out of range finally level two for the lich that took forever though what do we have t3 is finished no destroyer upgrade yet lich has the orb of corruption is now plus 14. Scroll of the Beast, there's no Dispel. Now this is when this item really, really shines. Lucifer holding on to this Talisman of Evasion for a long time, by the way. Yeah, it's a lot of damage mitigation. Mm -hmm. Red Camp now. The Shade had been just killed off with that dust, so still not being watched at the moment. Going for 800 now as well, soon to be better. Is he going for SH 3rd? No, he's not. Okay, so no healing, no real disable. Claws plus 12. With these two gloves of haste, man, that's a lot of damage. Yeah. No invul on his side, though. No invul yeah. and no heal wave. It's really greedy. Definitely interesting, dangerous. Interesting how uh, they approach this creeping completely differently. Lucifer is going for consumable after consumable after consumable. Um, has like three of them now. On the other side, still going for the permanent ones. 
Well, yeah. he got one went of mana stealing, I guess. A player's forces are under attack. But two, three red spots for still, one red spot for Lucifer only. What's this item? Helm of Valor. Not too bad for the Dark Ranger, but certainly better stuff there to grab up. Level four now for the Blade Master. That is a big level up. At the shop, he does get the invul. Gets rid of the Ring of Region. I like that. So there's strong items. TC going for a late game TP here, actually. Wants to go for some base harass. In the base, by the way, we have a Boneyard. This is the new Undead style that Lucifer's playing here. Okay, no damage mitigation, though. No Pit Lord, no Banshees. I mean, the slow, yeah. Is. Tier 3 for still as well. No, we have reinforced defenses. Kodo upgrade as well. He caught up pretty quickly. And now he sees the Boneyard and dives into the base. Is it Pillage? No. No Pillage for him. One ghoul kill. Second ghoul certainly going to go down as well. Is still gonna fight this or is he gonna TP out? He has to make a choice right now. No scroll of speed here, by the way. Makes engaging a little bit difficult. Good position for the Undead as well. And in we go immediately. Everything onto the Blade Master. Has the invul, of course. Going for the statues right away. The way it's supposed to be. Statue number one lost the other one into a destroyer. The Lich in trouble. Is there going to be a stomp? No, because of the silence. Blade, super low HP. Going for the stomp. That keeps him alive for a little bit. Has to transfer the TP, though. Has to transfer the TP, but doesn't get it off in time. And with that, the blade gone. Inwall dodges the stomp. Very well done by Lucifer. And now this is a very difficult fight, of course. Without his first hero, without the big damage, can he still do this? His army is still big and strong, but without a hero, usually this doesn't work. Dust coming in. He sees the other fiend in the back. He sees the shade as well. He's finding more kills here. Lots of solo experience as well, by the way. TC close to five, kind of. He almost devoured this fiend. And he get the two kills. That would be massive. Six supply gone. He gets one. In the one meantime, kill for level five, which he's... is broken, as I like to say. <laughs> he's building towers already at the expansion. There, he's rebuilding the blade master in the altar. That will take some time. Or is he canceling it now? Yeah. And he's gonna the... have the time for the blade as well. Looks like Lucifer is gonna wait for the frost room. It's gonna take a while. By then, the blade is pretty much gonna be back. Resources for the Tiny Great Hall aren't quite there yet, but he can sell the TP, and then he has it. Key moment here in this fight, by the way, the silence. Everything was in position for a big, big stomp, and in the perfect moment, Lucifer hit that silence, so the TC couldn't do anything, and then there was no hero focus, and then basically no pressure in the early stages, plus the Blade Master being solo, uh, with the early nuke that he was forced into the invul potion, and then no rescue for him anymore, as we don't have a Shadow Hunter here for the heal wave. This is level 5 for the TC. And the stomp is incredible. Tiny Great Hall. Uh, on the back of the turtle, though, easily approachable. But no Scouted counter as well. Very quickly by that skeleton. Blade Master, how far along is he? Still needs an invul, though. Kind of surprised he didn't go for that already. Still available in the shop, but the under is close to the shop. May actually end up stealing that, and that could be a big problem. Piercing damage against the worm. It's decent. He has three Berserkers and a Kodo. It's not overwhelming, certainly. And actually, Lucifer is going for a second Worm. Yeah. 60, giving even 70, more time to still. He's breaking upkeep now as well. 300 gold still. Blade Master is back with his Trifecta. And... Lucifer, is he pushing now without the second Worm? He is. Yeah, he is. All right. Once the Worm is out of this army, though, and if still can keep his heroes alive, this could be good for him. TP coming in, doesn't want to sacrifice his peon line. Very aggressive. He really wants this fight. They're in silence again. What can he do with it? There's Ensnare on the Worm. There's Focus on the Worm. Nice stun against the DK, but not too much else. And the Coil is ready for that Worm. No, it's not! He stuns him again and he executes that Worm. And now the Lich might be next. You see how long the stun duration is. It's crazy. It is absolutely crazy. Here comes the ensnare. He's trying to go for the hero kill. There's a stun. It lasts for four seconds. But it's not good enough to find this kill. Invul, purge. He has another stun in a second. So Lucifer has to TP out. Still holds on and grabs the lead against Lucifer. Wow. And he has that expo up and running.
This is really, really looking good. This, these stuns, man. Again, the silence was really nice from the beginning, but the second and third attempt, he couldn't uh, cancel that one anymore. And now he has a lot of money. He already has a big army, so now he can go for mana potions as well. Clarity, obviously, also. Even Don't forget about the scrolls of speed. The blade is going to steal the invol on the undead's shop. Nice. Probably. That's really nice. There he goes. Yeah, he, he's, going, he's going for a demolisher, by the way. I don't know if I like that addition. Yeah, no, that sucks. <laughs> but he's playing really well outside of that. Oh, but now, still moving forward without his blade. A little bit ambitious here. TC gets silent. Scroll of speed, though. He can't get slowed too much. The Frost Room still taking a lot of damage. Gets coiled once, but that's going to be a long cooldown. Now, massive storm coming in. Worm is dead again. Oh, oh, oh the blade massive damage is so surreal. Going for the destroyer next. The abomination is coming in, of course. Great damage against the headhunters if he ever reaches them. Ghouls are falling in the front line. TC has stunned once more. Coil arrives in the dark range, and nevertheless, oh, Blade Master not even hurt. He's going for the DK now. There's no TP, only a big invo potion. No crit this time. Does he have death pact? No. Dark Ritual here. Lich has another Nova. One Nova only, though, for a little while. TC is out of mana. Call oh, Nova! The Blade Master. Right clicks! That must be it! Blade Master dies. Level 5 on the DK. Lucifer sees the opening and capitalizes once again. Does he have the money to get the Blade Master back? He's around 550. Could be close, but the entire army is gone. TC under pressure again. Blade Master is back from the tavern. Counter focus, but I guess this could result in a double kill. Does he have the damage? Uh -oh. Long range coil, Blade Master. It was a dieback. GG, still playing good. But Lucifer, uh... seeing the opportunity, seeing the opening, and executes this so well. One chance, one opportunity, and he does it and takes the map. GG, Lucifer. That was so close, though. Ooh, was that close. And that's the thing when you have no healing. It is so risky. You just cannot recover from full health, especially against high level undead heroes. But boy, did he come close. Still playing this so strong. He, maybe if he plays a little bit more passively, maybe if he sets up one or two more towers at the expo, he didn't need to move beyond the tavern there. But he smelled the victory and a glorious victory it would have been against Lucifer Indeed, man. and a cool game as well. Now it's uh, still map choice, so maybe an even better chance for the German to pick a map or to, to get a map and then equalize. We go on to Echo Isles, interestingly. Oh, okay. We have a new donation coming in, by the way. Thank you once again, Vegetable Combo, for the 389. Finally, a pantless Remo at New Walker 3 stream. Childhood dream fulfilled. <laughs> that is kind of weird, kind of cool. <laughs> Thank you, nevertheless. Thank you very much. This could be uh, still trying to hard counter uh, this new strategy. The four ghouls into uh, shade and possibly worms with a fast expansion. We saw that before by Fly. Maybe that's the reason for Echo Isles. It is one of the better uh, fast expansion maps, certainly. Blade Master stacking, yes. But nowadays, I feel like stacking claws on Blade Master, of course, with the patch, not that good anymore. And especially as far as his survivability goes, very dangerous. So looking forward here to what still has to show us. Let's see if we have another result from the second semifinal. OC versus Rain. Seems like it's still 1 1. No update from there. And thank you, Elil1, for the sub via Prime. It's much appreciated, man. Thank you very much. We got a lot of new subs today, right? Indeed, uh, 405 or something. We did. Thank you, guys. 406. Mm -mm. Yeah, next week is six days of Warcraft here on this very channel, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you tune in as often as you can. 2,200 viewers here for Rust Brain Cup. Nice, nice, nice. What do you guys watch Doing for so. your hangover cure? Hmm. I don't know. Uh, Warcraft, like, I don't know. I rarely have a day where I can just stay in bed. That happens, like, once or twice a year. Yeah, usually like uh, usually you get up in the morning and then you go for some really unhealthy food. If you don't have unhealthy food, you order some unhealthy food, 
and then uh, I watch some Twitch streams, but then it's all right again, and then I don't know, can do normal stuff again. Back to Warcraft best hangover cure. Hope so, man. Thank you. Neo staying hydrated, as the bot tells me. I don't know who brought this bot, but it's so good. I really, really take care of that. Because I always forget to drink water. <clears throat> you used to have the app, right? Yeah, but I kind of skipped that, you know? <laughs> you get the notification and swipe right and... Yeah, okay. You also used to only uh, smoke uh, one cigarette every two hours, right? Every... Yeah, it depends. Like, at first it's like your normal habit and then it uh, allows you only after a certain time and that period goes longer and longer and longer. Yeah. But yeah, that app, same, same there. Like, at first it works fine, like for a week, and then you kind of swipe right. Another smoker here. Lucifer seems to be on his way to the final. Both, or... actually. Oh, right. Still as well. Yeah. It's the smoking triumvirate. <laughs> Enemy. <laughs> yeah, you used to smoke sometimes as well, but you got rid of it. Bring, I used uh... to smoke quite a bit, actually. Yeah. Proud but of you. I, uh, I could stop. Like, usually it was always like, oh, yeah, Neo, I, I stopped smoking, you know, don't, yeah, don't, don't try to And then back in China, it was time. Well, you got, you got some smokes, Yeah, <laughs> But not for a long time, so... I, I think the last two times, actually, yeah. I didn't smoke at all. Shout out Remo. Strong, new and improved Remo. Yeah, I think, um, like, quitting smoking, that's, uh, you know, the beginning is hard, but then after a while, it gets easier. But once it's become quite a bit easier is when you are not no longer craving cigarettes when you had to have when you have had something to drink but that takes a really long time <laughs> yeah i can imagine yeah, if you want to learn a new or if you want to include a new habit into your life and then drinking just rips those attempts apart Which uh, things did you, which attempts failed because of drinking for you? Everything. Everything. <laughs> Every single thing. Echo Isles, Remo. Why do you think still goes for Echo Isles? Uh, oh, he, he's Orc, of course. My brain is melted. Yeah, Echo Isles, of course. Logical uh, pick because Twisted is most likely vetoed. So lots of claws. Good expo attempts since the base of Lucifer is so far away from the expo spot. Yeah. We have seen a lot of gloves of haste here. Um, how do you like it in terms of the four items? I mean, of course, ring of protection is crap. Um, but in terms of circlet claws and gloves, how do you rank uh, gloves now with patch one point two nine? Um. Well, obviously, the higher your base damage is, the better they are. So, the earlier it is, the worse they are. The later it is, the better they get. I think that's the way they work. Um, I don't know. That's kind of all I have to say about it. Okay. DK starting off with the claws. For the blade we have the circlet. No one borrow and uh, no two borrow tech this time, no scouting this time. Much faster here from still this time around. No early expo, which I still think could work really well. But nobody's doing it aside from fly that one time. One day, Remo. One day he will prove them all right. One player, Lin will do it and it will work and that everybody copies it. Because there's some players who are like the yeah, influence know, to the race. I know what you mean. Yeah. It's interestingly not the, uh, not 1 to 0 who brings like new flavor to the undead race, but WFZ most of the time. For yeah. Orc, it's always Lin. For uh, Night Elf, it's always Moon, obviously. The build we're, right seeing, uh, we're seeing right here for the undead. Four ghouls into super late fiends. That came from WFZ. Yeah. All the rage in China right now. And DK can still creep with skeletons. His aggressive potential, however, is very low. And that is the reason I would like to see fast expo. But anyways, let's uh, skip that subject for now. Late Master here gets zone level 2. So did the Death Knight. And they meet here with a low HP Blade Master as well. But he has a self, he has a scroll. Shouldn't be in trouble. Grunt was scouting, a little bit too late perhaps. Dust goes towards the DK. 
And yes, I'm good. Right clicks as, as well. Right clicks this. Right clicks this. <laughs> Attack by Lucifer, 66% done, still slightly ahead. And I think this helped him a lot, these earlier attacks, especially against, like, against in, in, in Super, it was a lot. But in the game of, on Turtle Rock, it was like attack at the same time. So this is already a little better for Stone. Lucifer is really going to try to creep this? He has no idea where the Blade Master is right now. All right, that surprises me a lot. He's also taking a lot of damage here from this. Wow, that's a risky play. But Works he up, doesn't though. get punished. I do have some spikes. I don't know if they changed the holes. Do you have spikes as well? No. But we have different Players routing anyway, it seems. Because it's always different for us. So sorry about that. I can't do too much about it. Yeah, usually they go European server, Japanese server, European server, Japanese server. Okay, that might be the reason then. Sacrificial pit early again, delaying the slaughterhouse for it. Lich second, the usual spiel. And what is still going to do? Does he oh, he snipes the renegade. Risky, risky, but it's not getting punished. He has slow speed, so I don't even think this is so risky. I like that move. Gets the talisman. Can be nice. We saw his blade master suffering lethal damage before, and he gets his level three here. Takes out a camp from his opponent. That's and big. I think this might be the big reason why he chooses this map. He has a really nice creep route. Green camp into merchant, into that one. Boom, level three. You seal it away. You have the speed scroll to be safe. That's, That's really cool. Game. That's like the lich has to go out of his way to creep now. And on the other side, like for the orc, okay, the gold mine is gone, obviously, but there's still the marketplace. His own mercenary camp is still there. The big turtles are still there. Pretty neat. SH gets shot in the middle, but there's no Nova. There's only level one coil. He shouldn't be in too much danger. Blade Master's coming in with the Hex and so much mana on the blade. He could kill a Fiend here if it's far away from the main, but he's right next to his main. And Lucifer going for an early temple. Now that I'm a big fan of. Alrighty. On Echo Isles, it's always an earlier temple than on any other map, I feel. Could you share that observation? Uh, hasn't I haven't noticed that yet, but might be the case. This could be a good creep jack here for Lucifer. Wow. Actually, he's gonna steal the Ogre Magi whilst the SH is busy with the smaller ones. Remo, historical Wait. moment. American Sorry, player in the semi final of a cup on a Sunday. OC really won against Rain. Oh. Well done! Yeah, really. America. Congrats. Late Master here was creeping up solo on the opposite side of the map. With that though, his SH was looking pretty weak with the rest of the army, so he had to forfeit that camp to his opponent. So now he's still not level two. He's gonna get it now though with these Murlocs. And the Blade made a quick way to get somewhat close to level four. It's daytime now, the invul becomes available. This might be exactly what he is looking to purchase. Tells the ring. It's the invul, it's a good trade. Yeah, very, uh, like a lot earlier than last time on Turtle Rock, where he was running around uh, without any safety items. Um, I like the adjustments of, of Still here. Maybe he feels a little more comfortable on Echo. Um, like how he's roaming around and how he's positioning himself is, I think, a way better than on Turtle Rock. Uh, the Blade Master especially has found a lot of progress. The, it came at the cost of the SH, still on level 3. Should find it though. This Murkamp plus the green is level 3, I'm pretty sure. Death Knight only now level 3 for him as well. Double level up Lich here, level 2. Was this a tone of experience for the I blade? I think so. It may have been. Yeah, 3.6 now. Should be. So Lucifer with... Almost all of the creeps gone on his side of the map has to go all the way to the bottom. He has a shade here to see the Blade Master coming in. Oh, if he's too low, a Colinova might surprise him. But he certainly shouldn't die from it. Oh, but he's taking damage now. He has to run away. In Whoa, 42 HP. Yeah, that was risky. He knows now, okay, there might be a shade. But in the meantime... Exactly, and that's why the shade is so nice. Usually the Blade Master is always the surprising one. He sees that he's not revealed. He knows there's no sentries, so he knows that there's no, ris no risk. 
but the shade is in this, there is a risk suddenly. Both players with boots of speed now, nice for Blade and Lich. This early Banshee helps a lot in the fight, in the next fight. Blade Master is well equipped, TC is there third by the way. As uh, still was switching this up a little with the heroes. No Kodo yet, if I'm not mistaken, or is it coming? No, lots of Raiders though. Blade in the middle wants to get the next inball. Oh, but it's not ready yet, and the shade's still here. And this, with this he has to give it up. Doesn't get the inball, only the scroll of healing. And still is retreating. Oh, two of his grunts were ensnared. They're late to leave. Oh, that's a bit This is looking really good for Lucifer. He has double damage mitigation with Howl of Terror and Curse. And a good inventory and a good army. Plus this pickup before the TC is cut off from the rest of his army. Can't really help in the fight. Is he distracting here now? Not really. Three Banshees. That's a lot. No dispel. Still is messing up a little bit. Nurse perhaps coming in. He still forgot about his TC. He's not in the group. He's just standing there behind the forest. Lost another grunt. Or was it a berserker? I'm not sure. Finally got him into the group. Late Master was encircled, taking damage from all different sides. 42 supply versus 49. And now, yeah, once again, Blade Master cut off. Zero experience on the TC. Level 3 SH. With only 200 mana, but he's losing another one. Lucifer carrying this home now. There's no reinforced defenses. He could go for the burrows, but this is still engaging. Going for the statue immediately, but the curse makes it a little bit tough to find these kills. The first raid is already dead. That stomp was kind of nice, but he needs this. more at this point. He lost too many grunts, too many consumables. Doesn't have enough damage here, as it seems. Nice stomp once again, but he saves that banshee regardless. The curses are coming in so big. Yeah, there's so many misses here on the Blade Master. This damage mitigation is insane. Level 3 on the Lich. He ki almost kills his Banshee, but man, he's investing co the coils perfectly. This time, can't be saved as there's not enough uh, curses. TC is out of the fight because he's so low. Kodo Beast has eaten, but it's only a grunt. TC in focus fire once again. This army looks so weak, and the TC falls to a coil. GG! Lucifer in the final, and still is out. Uh, in that game, a bit of nerves, I think it was, showed. A little bit of concentration slipping, but especially the first one, man, was so strong. Well done, well done. Yeah, good uh, good sign in general. I feel that we have uh, players from weaker scenes far in the grid. I mean, it wasn't a super stacked tournament at all, uh, but ha having still here, having OC here in the semis, amongst two of the uh, veterans, Sonic and Lucifer, is refreshing and really cool to see. And still, I hope you get motivated by this good result. We want to see more of you, and there's still four qualifiers for you, and I'm pretty sure you can do it. I think so, too. Oh, guess what? Starshape's in chat. Hey, man, we talked about certain words before today, but you weren't here. <laughs> Can't wait for the next patch, she says. All right. This was semi-final number one. We go into semi-final number two. Sonic from the Ukraine versus OC from the United States of America. We go into a little break and then we'll be right back. Night of Mirror time. Lucifer is waiting in the final. Stay tuned.